Oh, yeah. Hello. Hello. I'm Dom. Hi, I'm Janair. Nice Please. to meet you. Excellent. I've got a little something for you. Let's take a look. He's brought a souvenir from the family business for the attention of metal expert Dominic Chenier. So, what on earth have you brought in for us? It's my dad, Harry. Barber pop. Oh, wow. He was a barber. He was a barber, yes. He learned his trade in Cyprus, and his aspiration was actually to have his own have shop. Have his own shop. So, he moved over to England in the early 60s, okay. uh, and he set up uh, the shop, and he had the shop for 33 years. Oh, wow. So, this had been outside the shop with Absolutely. the red and white spinning. With the red and white, the stripe spinning, and, uh, and it looked fabulous. So it must have been a huge deal for your dad to come over from Cyprus, start up his own business. You know, I can't overemphasize how um, proud I am of him of achieving what he did. He was a one-man band. He had a tremendous work ethic, and what he achieved, he did it by himself, All which by is himself. incredible. Did you used to go there as, as a kid and help out? Or? Yes, I remember going going to the shop as a child on a Saturday morning. Oh, brilliant! I had to get up early and um, sweep the, the the hair up off the floor for him yeah. and help out as best as I can. And, you know, one of the highlights was for me to actually come in and uh, open the shop up with him and flick the switch to get the barber pole spinning. And just, you know, there was something about it that really... Just a bit uh, of magic. Magic, yes. So after 30 years of, of having the shop, what, what made your father close down eventually? Well, he got to an age where he had um, fulfilled his ambition. And in 2003, the area was being developed. Yeah. So when he retired, he locked the, the shop up for the last time. Um, he took the barber pole down um, and for me, you know, that was like the end of an era and what he had left was the barber pole and as far as I'm aware, it's, it remained in his shed since. Does your father actually know it's here? Did you sneak it out the shed? <laughs> <laughs> I actually came across it when I was helping him clear the shed out and I didn't even know he'd removed it from the shop actually. So really? I, and had it with him. So for me, it was a bit like... Um, finding a pot of gold at the bottom oh, of a rainbow. Brilliant. And there was a mixture of um, delight in finding it and a bit of my heart sinking because it wasn't as I remembered it. Yeah. Oh. And I'd like to see it working again. Brilliant. So it obviously it used to spin inside? It used to spin. Um, it used to have the red and white stripe inside. Um, there are some parts in here. That's the lid and that pops on there. And there are some other parts in here as well. OK, That's but I don't see any red and white. No, oh. unfortunately, the red and white part goes in here and it was like a plastic sheet that yeah. he painted. He painted it himself, yeah. didn't and he? And over time, what happens is it deteriorates right. and crumbles. What a shame. So if we can get this working again and spinning as it should and lighting up. For me, it would be fantastic to see. And my youngest brother's carried on the tradition as a barber. As a barber. So your brother learnt from your father? From my father and was inspired by my father, actually. Oh, so nice. he's got aspirations of having his really? shop at, at some stage. So. Hopefully, he will um, remount the, the barber pole in front of his shop at some point. And for my dad, it's the only piece of the shop that he's got, so it's got huge sentimental value. You know, just to see that, that working again would to be flick amazing. That switch again. Yeah. Well, we'll do the best we can. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you so much for bringing it in. Thank you. Right. See you later. Bye. Leaving the barber pole behind is a bit like leaving part of the family behind, actually. The barber pole means a lot to my dad. Hopefully he'll have some fond memories of his time as a barber. And um, to see it working again would be, uh, would be emotional, I think, for him. So before I even start having a look through these boxes of bits that I've got, I can already tell this is going to be a big job. My first major worry is the crack in the glass. I don't know if we're going to be able to save it. To be honest, I don't even know how I'm going to get the glass out of the frame at the moment. It looks like I've got most of the mechanism in the box. A lot of electrical parts, obviously, it lit up at one point a very long time ago, looking at the state of all the wiring and everything that's in there. There's also a motor, which I'm assuming would be the part of the bottom to make it spin. But the big thing missing is the iconic red and white stripy spinning part, which is the whole point of the barber's pole. I really don't know where that's going to come from. And then I guess it's paint. So there's a lot of processes to this to get it working and I need to go through everything piece by piece. So I really need to get started on it.